Hello everyone and welcome! In this video I'm going to be removing as much weight as I can, as easily as I can, out of my Integra. Um, and basically I'm going to be calling this stage one weight removal because I'm going to be going for the very simple gets, um, things requiring minimal tools or no tools at all, and things that you can remove fairly quickly from the car. Now one of the first things to do is take out absolutely anything you don't need in the car. So, you know, I always keep coolant in the car because I used to have a leaking radiator. I do not anymore, but uh, I had this in while I was uh, driving the car for some speed tests. So I'm just going to go ahead and weigh that and take that out. So here we have our scale and I had 2.2 pounds of antifreeze sitting in the back. Also another common thing people leave in their car is the owner's manual so you know this is kind of a bulky item uh, and it does have some weight so let's go ahead and weigh that so we've got two pounds for the owner's manual and one very simple thing to remove the floor mats i mean you know they can add a decent amount of weight uh, and they're very easy to remove so it's a great item to take out for a track day so here we have our floor mats for a total of 10.6 pounds another very easy item to remove this rear hatch cover simply pull off 6.4 pounds so I'm gonna go ahead and lower these seats and pull this back and you can see this wood cover for the spare tire we'll take that out five point four pounds for that rear cover next we have the spare tire so all we need to do is unscrew this right here and then we can pull out the tire. Some rude people went ahead and took out my speakers for me, so these are just the stock ones for the front and the front tweeters. Uh, so we'll go ahead and weigh those. 2.2 pounds. So without using any tools, we've already managed to take out 47.4 pounds, and that's not including that coolant. Um, these are just parts that came directly off of the car. So I've got a little bit of water in the back, so what I'm going to do is soak it up with this towel. But first I'm going to weigh the towel, then soak up all the water, then re-weigh the towel and take out the difference. So next what we're going to do is remove the carpeting from the trunk and the rear seats. And basically this is just Velcro to the trunk, so you can kind of roll that up. Um, and then it's got these four connections here to the top of the rear seats, and you can just simply stick a screwdriver in, pop those out, and then once you've done that, there will be four more at the bottoms of the seats and you can just pry those out as well. So and then that carpeting comes right out. So now we can go ahead and remove our rear seats um, and the first thing you're going to want to do is there's a spacer put in right here which looks like this uh, and you're going to want to remove that and that's basically holding the chair in from moving around. So you can just grab onto it and pull it out. So once you've got that spacer removed, it's as simple as shifting the chair over and then lifting up. And then you can pull that right out. Now holding the bottom cushions in, you've got this single 10 millimeter bolt here. So we're just going to simply undo that. And from there, it's just a matter of pulling out the seat. So you can pop it out on the left side pop it out on the right side and then you've got your seat removed and a receipt from Target nice so the total weight for the rear seats comes in at 28.8 pounds so we will end it there with a total of 86 pounds removed in reality 83.8 since I already had those speakers taken out um, and if you exclude the coolant and the water uh, that was sitting in the back here, then the total weight that you could possibly remove from a similar Integra would be 83.2 pounds. Now I'm not necessarily recommending that you just take all these items out. Um, it's going to be a lot louder uh, without the rear seats. You know, I don't, I don't know what consequences that has on um, anything out there. But also, you know, not having a spare tire, you know, that's, that's not necessarily recommendable to just drive around without a spare. That doesn't really make sense. My car is just sitting in a garage, so there's no reason for it not to be removed. But point is, uh, I was able to remove 83.8 pounds from the car and look for a future video uh, to see what the actual differences are when you've removed this weight. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching.